So, yeah, the Cutlass, it's fixed. But the comment came up, now that we've helped the Cutlass, can we please help the Freelancer? And the truth is, I think that the Freelancer is a different kind of animal. The Freelancer is a paradox, and it's not that easy of a thing to fix. So is as disingenuous as it's going to sound as you know dismissive as it's going to sound the best advice that i can give to somebody who wants the freelancer fixed is all hands abandon ship repeat all hands abandon now i realize that the argument i just made in the comment I just made may seem like I'm making fun of the issue may seem that I'm kind of sitting there saying haha I've got mine but I don't care if you get yours wah, 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 wah. I'm you know basically being an asshole and quite frankly given some of the responses that you see to things like this on the star citizen forum you wouldn't be entirely incorrect or at least entirely wrong in expecting that that would be my answer or that uh, that's how I would treat you because generally that seems to be a bit of a trend on the Star Citizen forums, but that's not what I'm saying. The problem with the freelancer is the freelancer is a bit of a paradox and the freelancer, the freelancer argument hinges on one thing that CIG can dig their heels in on and they can fight back against you for any changes. And that is to say, you knew that going in. You saw the pictures of the ship. You knew that going in. You go on Google right now and you type in Star Citizen Freelancer and one of the first things that comes up is cockpit view. There's a lot of people talking about this. There's a lot of people pushing back on this topic. But CIG can always kick back to you and say, you knew that going in. And that, I don't, want to present that as that's the ultimate answer that just shuts the whole thing down but that is a pretty safe position to argue from strategically for them that's a pretty safe position and it allows them to keep from having to take the freelancer back even though they are technically doing a rework on the freelancer to accommodate the mistakes with the airlocks and that goes across all the freelancers to add in a cockpit redesign when that's part of the whole miss you know every ship from a manufacturer has to have that same look and feel because we're not really building spaceships we're building you know like generic everyday boring ass cars that you might rent from hertz or whatever agency and so everything has to kind of look the same and have the same vibe which to a certain degree I can see and to another I can't um, it, it's it would be asking a lot to kind of force that argument down CIG's throat and get any changes I you know I would be in favor of cockpit design changes I am in favor like I've always been a person who has said if CIG is taking the time to do it right then I am willing to be patient but at the same time, then don't hit me back with the argument of we don't have time to go back and fix it. Because didn't you just say, you know, we're taking the time to do it right, but what are you being selective? Because when you argue for the cutlass, you're arguing for something that should have been in the first place and something that has been since the beginning. The open view of the cutlass has always been one of the major selling points of the cutlass. So you know that someone like me who you know is like a dog with a bone I am not going to give that argument up and I am going to keep fighting for that argument because that was part of the original ship and that has been part of the ship all the way through and to be honest the only reason why it wasn't present for so long is probably because someone just kind of got to the point where you know they felt that they had to get it done the next ship was coming up they had to get onto the next ship they were on a schedule and something didn't get checked and it unfortunately just kind of continued to exist until enough people pushed back that CIG said, okay, okay, can you take the time you need to kind of put a booster seat under their asses so we, we can stop hearing about this? Thanks. 
Whereas with the freelancer, it, it would involve major structural changes. Now, is that to say that the freelancer is a bad ship or that this is something that's never going to happen? No, but I think that the circumstances required to make changes to the freelancer would have to be different than the arguments that were made to make changes to the cut list. The situation where you're making that argument would have to be different than the situation with the cut list. Now, the reason why I made the joke abandoned ship at the very top of this video is, well, it's kind of twofold because the people who aren't really willing to listen are just going to see that and they're just going to click the video off and say, fuck this guy. But the people who are willing to listen will understand that there's a subtext. There's usually a subtext to the things that I do. And consider the situation right now of the freelancer. CIG is going back and they're making changes to the freelancer to accommodate an airlock so that you don't kill the occupants of your ship whenever you get in and out of it. Pretty good change, I would say. But if at the same time, the people who are out there owning the freelancer, and make no mistake, CIG has the analytics. They know who owns what and they know how many of each ship is out there. If they started seeing freelancer ownership plummet, within this within the star citizen community if they started seeing people opting out of the freelancer and into the cutlass when they made this change that would send a message that would send a clear-cut message that you know i think we're kind of a little too glued to our idea of these ships got to have this certain look to all look like they're from the same manufacturer you can achieve that with a lot of exterior features and the way a lot of things are configured and still deliver a winning starship. You know, it's always this argument that uh, people make that, oh, well, if we design all ships to certain specifications, then, you know, or within certain tolerances, then we're just going to end up with a bunch of generic looking spaceships. And that's really boring. To which I reply, bullshit. Every car on the road that you see today has to meet certain specifications in terms of how you can see out of it, how it operates, where the signals, where the gear shift is. They all generally have the same basic configuration, yet they are all so different from one another. And when you go and you just, you can walk down to the street right now and you will see many different types of cars, some wildly different than each other, and yet all meet that same basic configuration, those same basic standards. It's kind of what allows them to be on the road. I mean, <laughs> that's why we don't have three-wheeled cars anymore, except for, what was it, uh, the something Robin or something? Was that British car that was on, uh, uh, shit. And they just went and they just made a whole new show. I should know this and it's going to come back. Top Gear. Top Gear. Whoops. Sorry. So, but yeah, to get back to my point, it's a bullshit argument that people make that, oh, well, we, if we do this, then all the ships will end up looking generic and the same. They don't. And, and it is the stupidest argument. I mean, you can pretty much, when you see that argument, you can kind of go, okay, uh, so I'm kind of dealing with a bit of an idiot here. But, the thing of it is, is that in order to make big changes to the freelancer, it would have to take something that hits CIG. The something that not physically, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not advocating going and punching a dev or anything like that. Never. But what I am saying is that if all of a sudden something happened that kind of was like a, a splash of cold water on their face that said, whoa, maybe we need to rethink this. Because they can always, right now, they can always fall back on that very safe argument. You knew that going in. You knew that going in. And they will dig their heels in on that as much as possible. But if they're working on a ship and redesigning a ship and doing all this work on a ship that everyone is just selling and just going into a cut list or going into something else, they will take notice because they're like, why are we doing all this work if everyone's abandoning the ship? Why are they abandoning the ship? Oh, the cockpit view sucks. Well, maybe we need to make some adjustments. Now, for the longest time, I'd always argued that the true value of the freelancer line might be 
finally realized in the Freelancer miss. Um, because the overwhelming firepower that that ship had, and I mean a couple of years ago, I compared it to the Vanguard, and I was like, how can the Vanguard exist in a universe where you can buy this? And this completely slays the Vanguard in firepower. I mean, a, vi a Vanguard might be quote-unquote tougher, but you know, a Freelancer, I think, what was the maximum? The Freelancer missed at one point. I think the maximum size guns that you could put on the cheek turrets on the Freelancer miss were size fives. I mean, it was just, it was just there to shred people to shit. And it was one of the main arguments that I used against the Vanguard. Well, the Freelancer Miss, unfortunately, has been changed as well. And it now packs max size three guns on the turret, at least according to the stat sheet on the website. So I really don't think that, uh, yeah, that the, uh, the Freelancer Miss is the uh, silver lining to the freelancer cloud anymore i look at the freelancer mess and i just i see a lot of wasted potential there and um overall i mean it, it sounds like such a shitty thing to say to people just get out of the ship because i mean obviously that kind of philosophy could also lead to a banu merchantman situation where not enough people own it anymore for cig to really put any serious thought into getting it finished right I mean, there's probably people at CIG who are like, yeah, you know, we should really get that Banu Merchantman kicking. We should really get that thing moving down the production line. And they're probably looking at the at the analytics and saying, well, you know, there's only like 100 people left who actually own the Merchantman. And there's not a lot of people out crying for it. So, do it. I mean, we can just go do the whole D. So let's do the whole D instead because we already, you know, we've already got all this, you know, assets left over from doing the whole C. Why don't we do that? And yeah, you know, it's the low hanging fruit. And so they'll probably go for that. I mean, major changes to the freelancer. Yeah, they are making changes to the freelancer right now, but are they willing to tack on extra and possibly change the, the look book or the, uh, you know, the style guide for the freelancer and say, incorporate a cockpit that's more like the prospector? I'd, I don't know. It's really, it's really tough to say because often CIG is pretty evasive in these arguments because no one wants to go out and say something that could sound like they're committing to doing something and then having to face doing the actual work. I mean, that's kind of one of the things is that when you kind of sit there and you say, oh, th like this should be, this should be changed or this should be gone or that should be changed and you always find CIG very you know very unwilling to engage in that kind of a discussion on the one hand because then it ends up being designed by committee and do we have to act, get x amount of community approval before we can go ahead with the design and just get it done or do we just kind of call it balancing <laughs> you know and uh and just push it through and get it done and I mean, you could have all these arguments back and forth and a lot of animosity within the community when you make major changes to a ship because there are going to be people out there who, I mean, you could chrome plate a turd and they'd be like, that's, that's the greatest ship I've ever seen and I must have one. I must have 10. And who will just raise holy hell if you're like, yeah, I mean, can't we just kind of put the guns in a better position? It's like, no, no changes. So, yeah. I, I would honestly say I would I would spend the summer probably on honestly evaluating your options and maybe even test flying a few different ships out there and maybe asking if the ship that you bought is still the right ship because CIG will always be able to fall back on that argument of you knew that going in, right? Whereas with a ship like the Cutlass, you knew what the Cutlass was supposed to be. It had this wide open cockpit, so people expected a wide open view and people fought for it. But whereas the Freelancer, it always had that restricted view since day one. And so everyone knew that going in when they bought the ship. And with the downsizing of the potential of the Freelancer miss, I really, I, I just, I can't see the value in them. But I'm a more combat oriented player, so that's always going to taint my opinion. So thinking about it like it's a tactical situation, I think that if CIG is all of a sudden trapped in working on a ship that no one wants anymore, very few people own, and people have been abandoning in droves, 
then they're going to have to go back and say, you know, are we digging in our heels in the wrong place? Are we willing to fight a pitched battle over something that is yielding us no benefits and is only hurting our, you know, hurting our work schedule because we're spending all this time redesigning a ship that people are abandoning in droves? It's, you know, just talking about the changes that they're making to the airlocks, not an overall redesign just that those small changes that they're making are they willing to go that far when people are just throwing the ship away i mean that could be a more powerful message and a more powerful form of persuasion but then again you have to organize that and you have to get all these people together and say hey let's just all get rid of our f freelancer hashtag all hands abandon ship you know you can put up a picard gif or something like that and then try to drum up a community movement around the ship it's possible, but, you know, just with, yeah, with the curbing of the potential of the freelancer mess, the, I mean, that was pretty much the nail in the coffin for me in regards to the freelancer. That's kind of what put me in the position of, I look at the freelancer now, and I just don't see a ship that I, I really would ever want to own for multiple reasons. Does it have more firepower than the Cutlass? Yeah, potentially. Um, does it carry more cargo? Yeah, it does. Absolutely. Is there certainly tactical situations where a freelancer could win out over a cutlass? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no doubt. But I think day in, day out, the, the, you know, the traits that we've been talking about in the freelancer, specifically its cockpit view, are just so tiresome that I, I just wouldn't fly it anyways. And so I think to get something like that changed in such a fundamental way, it would require kind of a like almost a tectonic shift within the community of people just abandoning the ship for CIG to kind of go, whoa, wait, let's rethink this. So that would be my advice around getting changes to the freelancer. I realize it's not the, the answer that you may want to hear, but that is my point of view. Anyways, that has been the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.